Are you a business owner? Currently having some business obstacle that you're looking at how to turn around. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to turn around your business and to assess your business situation as well as the key principle for a successful turnaround. I'm Vong Chen and I help people by giving marketing and business advice. So if you would like to learn more how to uh, turn around your business and some similar topic in the future, be sure to subscribe my channel and click the bell button to be notified every time I release new videos. If you have found this video, it means that you may be a business owner. You want to know how to turn around your business because you may be experiencing some business obstacle. You are in the right place because I'm going to let you know how to turn around your business and some key principles for a successful turnaround. So let's get started. First, if you're looking to turn around your business, then the first step is to assess your business situation. The first step is to identify root causes. There are lots of different reasons that make your business having some obstacle right now. But uh, uh, the main reason, 90% of the reason, is going to be your uh, cash flow problem. Business owners usually feel the pressure when they see the cash flow problem. So your cash flow problem is going to be one of two reasons, or both. The first reason is you got a very slow sales. The second reason is you, got a, you have too much expenses. Why you have a slow sales? It is because your products or service actually have a low demand, low market demand. You may go to the wrong direction, you know, something that you are selling doesn't fit how the market wants it. If your expenses are too high, then it's due to the overestimate of the expected sales. So that's, that's why you spend that much uh, expenses, you know, on the, those things, because initially you thought they would give you uh, extra sales from that. After you identify the root cause, the second step is analyze competition. So is it only uh, my company or business are doing like that? Or this is like uh, overall uh, micro issues? Because when there's uh, some, you know, some big issues about the marketing trend, then you know, not only you, you and your competitors in the same industry is going to experience the same thing. You got to analyze your competition to see if you are the only one or everyone is having the issues. So let's say you are the only one having the issues and your competitors, they are doing very well. Then the next step is to find out how your competitors are doing great. You know, there's got to be some reasons, you know, maybe they are important. Uh, or their services or their positioning, you know, really hit the market. So you gotta find out how they are doing better than you. Is it because they have lower price? Or is it because they provide a better customer service? Or maybe they have more marketing budget. So people, you know, really uh, remember their brand uh, rather than yours. So it's gotta be some reason. You gotta find it out. After you find out the root cause that make your business struggle, and then you have analyzed your competitors and you know that why they are doing better than you. So the next step is to how to turn around based on that. The first step is develop a clear turnaround plan. So what is that? The first step is develop a clear turnaround plan. So let's say you know what the root cause is. And then you've analyzed your competitors and you know that they are making more sales because their marketing, for example, are penetrating in the market. You know, people remember their brands more than yours. So if this is the case, then you gotta increase your marketing exposure. Does that mean you gotta put more money into the marketing just to match up your competitors? Because they are, they are doing a lot of good work on their marketing. Does that mean I gotta put more money? No, not exactly. This is not what I meant. It just means that you gotta put more effort into the marketing area. It could be anything that is uh, cost effective. It doesn't necessarily mean that you gotta input more money into it. 
because if you were putting more money into that and you failed, it would just make your cash flow problem worse. You gotta be creative to find some cost-effective way to market your products or service to the uh, customers. You may have uh, existing customer list that you can resell it to, or you can do something like content marketing or social media media marketing. In this situation, the cost doesn't doesn't uh, cost as much, but they are giving you a good long-term effect to make sales. So in this case, try to utilize your current resources or existing customers for your marketing plan. The second step is focus on your core strengths. What does that mean? It means that you're gonna find out what you are really good at, but your competitors not. So let's say you got a huge list of uh, customers, existing customers, but your competitors doesn't. If you already got a good customer base, you got a lot of existing customers, try to utilize these resources instead of make spending more money into finding new customers. So in this situation, my focus would be, how can I resell my product or service to the existing customers? Am I gonna do more promotions or discounts? And sometimes you gotta think of some creative strategies on how to utilize your current resources. So let's say uh, you got a huge list of existing customers. This is your core strength, right? Core resources. You can try to partnership with other businesses that is not your competitor. You can do cross event, cross selling. Try to refer your existing customers to the other businesses. You know that is not your competitors, of course, and then get commissions from the transition. You know you gotta think of some creative ways just to utilize your current strength and resources. The first step is to improve cash flow management. So let's let's face it. If you are a business owner who who is having a business struggle, you have a cash flow problem. So my main focus is gonna be how can I improve my sales, increase my sales while minimizing my expenses. If you have inventory that doesn't move, try to give it give out some discounts just to clean out the inventory to get more cash in. If you already got some sales from customers, try to think of. Uh, you know, how can I improve, increase the order size? You know, instead of $50, make it $100 on the single order size. The next step is to cut out unnecessary expenses. Remember, when you try to analyze what expenses I should cut out, you always remember that you got to ask yourself, is this expense going to bring me sales or not? You got to cut out all expenses. That doesn't bring you sales because in the end of the world is the business is all about making sales if you're having something that doesn't bring you sales so what was that for cut them out by doing this step you're gonna get a more clear picture of your businesses and it makes your turnaround much easier before we wrap this video i would like to hear your comments comment below and share your experience Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.